You can argue the rights and wrongs of Iraq, but either way, he should have recognised that ahead of the Jubilee, this was a wrong thing to do. Before we dive in, make sure you like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell. Nigel, should Tony Blair have been knighted? All former Prime Ministers uh, are awarded the membership of the Order of the Garter. And with that comes a knighthood or comes an earldom, and that's what's always gone on. There have to be some very powerful reasons for that not to happen. And, and also there's a sense of timing. You know, Blair's been out of office now for, what, 13 years. Uh, I, I don't know whose decision this was, whether it was the Queen's, whether it was Boris Johnson's, um, but I think the timing of it couldn't have been worse. Uh, we, have a, we, have, we, have a, we have a platinum jubilee coming up next year for, the, for this woman who, by the way, is the most respected human being living in the world today, and quite right, too. Mm. Amazing the extent to which she's adored all over mm. the world. And, you know, you English or British, and they ask you about her and the family and all the rest of it. I think Blair should have used his political sense and turned it down at this moment in time, because I deeply regret that the Queen herself is now getting some criticism over this. Mm. So, so you can argue the rights and wrongs of Iraq, and whether we were lied to, we probably were, uh, and that, in a way, should disqualify him from it. But either way, um, if it was offered to him, he should have recognised that ahead of the Jubilee, this was a wrong thing to do. OK. Should the government advisers through COVID have been knighted? No, they've all been knighted. I mean, this is ridiculous. I mean, one minute, he's telling us there's an emergency. Four times he used the word emergency three weeks ago. Well, that was more to save his political career than it was about COVID. But the next minute, I mean, they're all dames and knights and God knows what. Rather, not quite as funny, though, as the Remain campaign. All of whom got honoured. You know, the press officer got the CBE. I mean, can you see why I want to reform the House of Lords and change all of mm. this? It just doesn't work anymore. And, and here's the sad bit. You get MBEs given to people, you know, out in the community, who've given sometimes decades of charitable services, and it can be towards mental health or drug problems or diabetes or whatever it is. And we use this system to honor those people in our community. And that's a wonderful thing. It's a special thing for those people, their families to get recognized. The local paper says, isn't it marvelous? And people are proud that their town's been mentioned or whatever it is. And all of that's ruined by cronyism and corruption that goes on within about two postcodes in, in uh, central London. Mm. My thoughts on it, uh, also, whether you think it's right or wrong, it's not finished. Well, that's a, yeah, of it's course. It's not even finished. <laughs> so. it's, it's rather like knighting a cricketer or a footballer when they're mid-career. Yeah. Better to wait till the whole thing's over, you know? Um, knighting the England Ashes team after the first test yeah, instead well, no, of the whole... Well, 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 no, actually, the first ball, it all went wrong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I, yeah, mid... I mean, you know, if Boris says it's an emergency, why, within a couple of weeks, are they getting honoured if, if, if we've got such a long way mm. to go? Actually, I think we are coming out the end of this, personally. I, I'm, I'm feeling quite bullish right. about 2022. But That's no, right. inappropriate, wrong. Oh, I nearly forgot. I nearly forgot. How silly of me. There was also somebody from Pfizer got an award. Isn't that nice? Mm. Isn't that lovely? <laughs> Doesn't that warm the cuddles of the yard? <laughs> what do you mean by that, Nigel? Oh, no, it must have been a very miserable couple of years for Big Pharma. How ghastly for them. <laughs> Okay, so um, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Now, if you like this, we have a full, deep interview, the uncut, unedited version. So if you want to watch that, the link is below. But first, make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel.